This is our fixture. Okay, we turned down the diameter. We drilled and tapped the end of it. It's got a Tommy bar hole to lock it on. And then we just thread it onto our rotary table. Then we lock it in place with a Tommy bar hole. Okay, and we're ready to go. This is our center drill. I'm going to wipe this edge off here so there's no burrs on it or no chips. And can you see, see the spindle? Mm -hmm. This is another part for our lever collet closer. This is a guide ring and it's made out of A2 steel. We, met, we fabricated this on our Mazak lathe and now what we're going to do is cut two 3 16 by 40 thousandths deep slots into the outside of it using a 3 30 seconds carbide end mill. And next I'm going to put the ring onto the fixture. And we've got our locking cap. Hold it in place. And now we're ready to cut. We turn the spindle on, apply some oil, and we're ready to go. thousandths cut, it's cutting in the X and Z axis at the same time, going down ten thousandths for each X axis pass. Then it'll do a profile inside the, the slot, lift up, index 180 degrees, and cut the next slot.
We have rotary tables in many configurations, from manual to full CNC, designed for machining and laser marking applications. We also offer an extensive line of rotary table accessories. Visit our rotary tables and accessories page at our online shop on Sherline.com for more information.